Hey everyone, I am TH Pine and welcome to Luna's Wandering Stars. What is Luna's Wandering Stars, you ask? I like to call it a lunatic, gravity-based asteroid collecting puzzle game. It will release on the 15th of May and this is what it looks like. So on every level we have this little moon, which is basically our character, and we have to collect asteroids um, to increase our mass. And uh, preferable you want to get the three golden asteroids to get it perfect on the level. However, the levels are um, separated in multiple sets or planets. Well, every, every planet is a set of levels and every planet has its own um, basic control scheme basically. So we're in uh, on Mercury right now or on a Mercury, Mercury level set. And here um, the basic mechanic is a slingshot mechanic. So we can uh, sling this moon around and try to collect the asteroids. For example, we can do something like uh, this. And as you can see, it collects the asteroids. And as ev every asteroid adds some of the mass, which fills up this circle around. The planet that was actually pretty good because I know how to beat that level already. Um, and if it fills, if it's filled up, you uh, beat the level. You have to avoid to crash into planets, and um, you want to prefer. Uh, the golden asteroids over the blue ones. So let's take a look at another level. Okay, in this level, uh, the asteroids actually have um, momentum, so they will move. Uh, I forgot how to beat this uh, somehow, like this, I think. So um, every time we pick up an asteroid, we get more mass, as it says. So this actually um, affects our our movement or our gravity, obviously. So um, while we have this path that shows up, oh, I want to go to the next level, but we have this path. Um, that shows up um, like this, as you can see here. Uh, this will not definitely. This will not be the the way the asteroid, uh, the moon actually moves because it will pick up mass in the meantime, which will change the gravity, which will change uh, the movement. This might actually work. Uh, no, it doesn't because we crash into the planet. But anyway, let's uh, talk about different planets because different planets mean different mechanics. So that's Mercury. We have 15, le 15 levels. Uh, let's go to the next planet, which is Venus, uh, which has probably 15 levels as well, but I did not unlock them at all yet. Uh, what mechanic was uh, did have Venus? Uh, oh yeah, the rocket mechanic. That was a little interesting. So you don't sl sling around your moon this time. You just um, use mini rockets to affect the movement, basically. So we can do uh, this. We only have a limited amount of shots, though, so we probably screw up. Look, we kind of... Uh, succeeded, I guess. <laughs> Did not do it perfectly, but uh, basically every mouse click is one rocket shot, which will affect the movement of the of the moon. Okay, that was not good. You can see how this goes. Okay, um, so that's Venus. Let's take a look at uh, the next planet. What do we have? Earth, right? What was Earth? Uh, I forgot. Gravity. Oh yeah, Earth, Earth is strange. So basically, in, on Earth, we change the gravity of Earth. So if I move the mouse to the left, the gravity of Earth gets stronger and the moon will get closer to Earth. And if we, if I move the mouse to the right, the gravity gets weaker and the moon starts to, well, move away from Earth, kind of. Not really, but it's not, it's getting attracted less. So yeah, <laughs> that's how gravity works, right? Um, okay, what else? I want to go through all the mechanics of the plants I unlocked so far. And as I said, uh, every planet has 15 levels, I think, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 planets. So that makes 135 uh, levels, I think. And I read something about the level editor, but I think you have to complete the game to unlock it. So I don't know uh, exactly uh, too much about that yet. Mars is pretty fun. Mars is actually less about physics and gravity and more about um, tactics. Because what you have to do in Mars is uh, shoot. So you cannot affect the movement of your moon directly because, well, you can do it, um, affect it a little bit because you can shoot. And uh, when you shoot, you destroy things. And if you don't destroy things, they will not affect your planet. For example, we have those, wait, what, what was, oh, those were wormholes, for example. I don't know if we sh can shoot them, probably. Um, well, they shoot us <laughs> with the red mine thingy. Uh, okay, uh, interesting level. So we have to shoot at all those things. And we collect all that stuff. And probably, probably if we shoot enough stuff, we probably get golden asteroids as well. Okay, it's not as easy as I hoped it would be. Let's see. Oh, that was okay. We have to shoot that nebula because the nebula slows us down. Okay, let's try again. There we go. 
there come golden asteroid. Oh, uh, <laughs> should not shoot them if I want to complete the level. But yeah, okay. Uh, you see, uh, you could get all the three if you all three golden asteroids if you do it properly. So that's Mars. Mars is interesting. I like, actually like, Mar like Mars. It's more more like a strategic puzzle game here and less about um, physics. So which level is this? For example, oh yeah, in this one you have to. Well, this is not that strategic actually. You have to have just have to shoot all the red ones. <laughs> No, let's not do that. Um, but there are some interesting ones. Yeah, that was fairly interesting if I remember correctly. So we no, uh, actually that was a bad start. Um, yeah, we get that. I think we shoot that to not slow down, and that to not pick up too much gravity. And there we go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I remembered how it works though. Uh, but this actually took me a few tries when I played it the first time. So what else? Um, there is Jupiter. What was the Jupiter mechanic? Redirect. Oh yeah. Um, basically, you can place redirects on the on the map, like uh, this, and they will try to redirect the moon, and they will stay there for a few seconds. So you can do something like this. Okay, that was not perfect, but uh, you see how it works. Okay, that's not going to work. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you see how this works. So fairly different mechanics actually. Every planet works very different. That's the last one I unlocked. I don't uh, don't have the other fours unlocked um, so far. The other four unlocked so far. Which uh, yeah, but they have probably pro completely different mechanics as well. So um, there's. A bunch of variety and there's a lot of levels and it's quite enjoyable so far it's obviously not a super complex game uh, but it's fun um, for well yeah your spare time <laughs> the option menu is a little lacking but we have separate sound sliders um, and there is like there is a uh, launcher option menu when you start a game where you can set up resolution and uh, and uh, window mode and full screen so it's actually not lacking because it has actually everything you need nothing special but you have separate sound sliders you have resolution you have window you have full screen no borderless window but um well still pretty okay <laughs> for a 2d game i think so yeah that's actually uh, not too much more to talk about i could show you more levels but where's the fun in that you can try them for yourself if you want to the game really release really 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 release will release on the 15th of may uh, it's called luna's wandering stars and um i'm th pine thanks a lot for watching have fun and see you next time and i find a fucking stop recording button there